Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for a special video. Okay, so we are going to jump into the time machine and travel way, way back to 1989 as we take a look at this. This is the original Toy Biz Batwing from the 1989 live action Batman film um, starring Michael Keaton and directed by Tim Burton. Okay, so I'm going to apologize because I can't fit this thing um, underneath my camera. It's pretty large. And when I say large, you're talking about something um, uh, with a wingspan of probably about, I'm guessing, 15 inches. And it's about maybe 13 inches deep. So uh, <laughs> this is a pretty large vehicle. And then just to give you a size comparison, uh, here is the Batman figure that's inside of it. Um, I think this is possibly maybe a 5-inch scale action figure. Uh, this is the original Toy Biz uh, Batman. Uh, the, the belt buckle with kind of like the uh, retractable, I don't know what it is, grapple hook or gun is was broken on this. Uh, but this is at my actual childhood toy, and it's in pretty decent shape, you know, considering its age. And the figure here is about 5 and a quarter. So this gives you an idea of the size of this <laughs> behemoth of a vehicle. Um, I bought this probably about six months ago uh, used at a local collectible toy store. Uh, it's It was beat to hell. Um, completely, completely disgustingly dirty. Um, on the canopy, let me see if I can remove this carefully without Re without re-breaking it because it was, it was actually broken when I got it. Um, uh, one of the clips here was actually broken and then I managed to um, uh, repair it using um, testers, uh, model cement and it kind of melted the piece back together so it's pretty much good as new. Yeah, I just have to exercise some care when I'm um, repositioning it back into the vehicle. But for the most part, this thing was, uh, when I purchased it, it was missing uh, multiple parts. And it's still missing a couple of parts, actually. It's missing the projectile missiles uh, that you put into the rocket launchers in the front. Uh, it was missing the large top fins. And if you've ever been hunting down a, a Batwing, um, these top fins are impossible to find. Uh, they break super easily on the original toy. So what I did was I hunted down a pair of the the underside fins, which are right here, and I dismounted them on the top. Uh, they're considerably a lot smaller, but if you didn't know any better, you know you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Other than the, other, the original fins are just much much larger. Um, also, uh, this was missing uh, the handle and the trigger. And if you're wondering what the handle and trigger f is for, is that uh, the handle allows you to hold the vehicle and, you know, so you go swoosh around with it and play with it. And then when you pull the trigger, it has this thing here called, I think it's like the Villain Crusher. It's essentially just a capture claw. So you could take any figure, for example, like, you know, the Joker. And then, you know, Batman could swoop down and then grab the figure. So that's kind of neat. Um, it's a really beautiful toy uh, from this time period, you know, talking 1989, you know, the live action Batman film by Tim Burton was taking theaters by storm. If you were alive during that time period, and if you remember, everyone was like wearing a Batman logo t-shirt at that time. It was just crazy. Everyone had Batman fever. Um, I remember there was a 2020 special highlighting the upcoming film at the time, and you know, people were just ecstatic about it. You know, for the most part, everyone kind of grew up with the 66 Batman with Adam West, which was, you know, campy. And, uh, you know, Tim Burton's Batman kind of, like, introduced fans to, like, a grimmer, darker Gotham and Batman character. And the Batwing was just one of the... I remember it being one of the... Um, highlights of the film especially when it shoots up into the sky and then it creates that silhouette against the moon I remember everyone in the audience kind of went crazy and were cheering and stuff 
Uh, but this is a vehicle I really wanted to possess in my collection. I never had it as a kid. Uh, and when I came across this in my local uh, collectible toy store, it was, like I said, it was beat to hell. It was a mess. Uh, but all I, I knew that all it really needed was just some tender, loving care, you know, to kind of bring it back to life. You know, it's not completely pristine, but for me, it's it's presentable and it's just a really fun toy to have in my collection. Uh, McFarlane recently announced that they're coming out with a Batwing for the upcoming live action Flash film, and that thing's a beast. That thing's, I think, like 35 inches wingspan, which is insane. And fans are really, really giddy about that and the upcoming Batmobile by McFarlane, also. Uh, but I just wanted to share this with you. Um, you know, with the upcoming film c coming out and with th the renewed interest in the 89 Batman and the 89 Batwing and the Batmobile, I think it was, it's worth a, you know, look, take a look at this. Uh, the Batwing in the upcoming Flash film, though, is not the 89 um, Batwing. I think it's actually inspired by it, but it's a lot more sleeker um, and just different in its design. But yeah, this is a flashback. If you grew up during the 80s and 90s, and if you had this toy as a child, I hope this brings back some memories. Uh, if you're a younger fan and collector, you know, I hope this kind of gives you some insight into the kind of toys we had back in the day. You know, this is a really beautiful piece. Uh, one day I hope to do a video on the 89 uh, Batmobile uh, done by Kenner for their Dark Knight collection. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh vehicle and it's one of the uh, prize uh, toys in my collection I mean not necessarily because of, you know monetary value but you know I'm just so fond of the, the 89 Batmobile all right so with that being said let's wrap this one up uh, once again my name is Lou if you're new to my channel welcome if you are a returning viewer subscriber thank you so much for your continued support I greatly appreciate it so until the next video be safe take care of yourself buy a lot of toys and most importantly be happy and I will see you at the next one. All right, later.